Over the last week, the developers behind Yuzu for Android pushed out a highly anticipated update that allows us to remap the buttons of a controller. This feature was introduced into the Android version of Yuzu with version 252, so as long as you're running this version or later, the option in the settings area should be available to you. However, if you're unable to find it with the version that you have installed, I will be sure to include a link for the APK of the exact same version that I'm using here today. And I'll have that link in the video description below for anyone who needs to download it. Now to find this new controller remapping feature, we're going to need to dive into the settings area of Yuzu for Android. And you should see the new controller section right here. We have the ability to remap the controller for up to eight different players. And we can disable a controller from this menu as well. There's a way for us to change what type of controller Yuzu thinks that we have connected. So if you have a dual Joy-Con controller, then make sure that option is selected in this menu. Or if you have a left or right Joy-Con controller, then pick that one instead. You can see there are a few different preset controller types included as options here. So definitely take a look at them before moving on. Now we also have an auto map controller feature built in where Yuzu for Android will attempt to detect the controller that's connected and then remap those buttons for you. When you're happy with how a controller is set up, there's now a profile feature built in that allows us to create different profiles for the various controllers we could use with the emulator. And then we have a way to manually remap each individual button just in case we like our controller set up in a different way than what the default profile assigns to us. You can see there is this option for each button that is detected as a controller. There's also some range and dead zone options here for both the left and the right Joy-Con. And lastly, we have a way to disable the vibration feature of the emulator. There's also the ability to use the system vibration feature instead of the one that is built into the controller. And lastly, we have an option to adjust the vibration strength right there in this controller remapping section of the emulator. This is an update that the Nintendo Switch emulation community has been waiting on for months. We knew that it was in the works but the developers just needed a few more features to iron out before it could be pushed to the public. Thankfully, this update is available for free as long as you have Yuzu for Android version 252 or higher installed. 